As drivers, we have a tendency to overestimate our driving skills. Therefore, I decided to go back to school and learn how to properly maneuver a car, steer it around corners, and literally expose my flaws. Well, what better place is there than the AMG Driving Academy? Therefore, I went here to beautiful sunny California to the Laguna Seca racetrack to test my skills. So, I am here in automobile heaven and come along. Let's find out how good we really are. As cool as it looks, it's not effective. It's not effective. We need the two hands. Ten and two, can it work? Sure it can work. But if you look at the design of the AMG steering wheel, you got the little thumbs hold, hold holes right there and your thumbs fit in there perfectly. It's there for a reason because mechanically your hands don't work like that. Try it. Try 10 and 2. You're, you're, you're bound up. Go to 3 and 9, opens up your whole uh, body position, you're clear the rib cage, you can whip the wheel. And that's exactly what we want to do. Speaking about uh, whipping the wheel, I, I talked about focus and concentration and whatnot. But as I said, AMG's advanced training is of course a step up. And you start off with the fundamentals and kind of a review what you do in the beginner class, but then you add new features. Stretch it a little farther, a okay. little farther. Get the whole picture. Okay. Get the whole picture, but at the same time, focus on where you're going, but never let it be a mystery what's coming. Okay. Yeah, good. very good. Thanks. One of the most fun exercises is the sliding, the drifting, and how you have to use the steering wheel and the throttle to oversteer. Again, slower entry speed, let that right foot make the car slide and try and stick with it. Keep the car sliding. Go when ready. Very difficult. thing we did today in the morning was to rehearse the fundamentals. Now we're going to go into the specifics. So usually when you drive a car you tend to think you're quicker when you use the throttle as much as possible. But there is one essential skill that you need to master before you are really quick and that is braking and cornering. So we're going to take out the SLS AMG because it brings you up to speed very quickly but it also has those fantastic carbon ceramic brakes which feel like you throw out a big anchor and it brings you to a halt. Now the later you brake the more you can utilize speed and of course you then corner in a controlled fashion and that's what we're going to practice and see how amateurs like I learn to trust the brake and the car when going around the corner. So follow me and let's have some fun. down there. Regardless of what speed you get, you're going to do the same thing when you get there. You're going to brake as hard as you can brake, as quickly as you can brake. So you're going to work on that accuracy of where you brake, the amount of pressure that you add on that brake, 
and your eye work so you know where the car is going to end up. As the speed increases, you're going to need to brake and avoid. That means stay full brake pressure and make the car do what you want to do using the benefit of the electronics at your disposal. ESC, Electronic Stability Control. So now we're gonna try and see what I can do and watch my face. This is really hard work, really, really hard work. But with the help of the instructors, you improve immensely. It's, these are tiny minuscule details, but they make a huge difference. So let's see if I learned something. This is hard work, I tell ya. So, when you really think you're a good driver, they let you do the autocross. A nice little race, and they give you a fantastic car for it. The SLK 55. Now normally, that wouldn't be my first choice, but on this tight little course with many, many curves, it's just so much fun swiveling the back around the corners. And it's, it's a nimble, it's a very quick car, and, of course, every lap is timed. So you see, are you good? How good are you? How good are you compared to others? And, most importantly, Importantly, are you yourself improving? And uh, well, tomorrow we're gonna have a little race and determine who the best of the best is. This is real, real fun, believe me. As you can see the guys behind me, they can't get off the circuit.